everyone and welcome back to Tales of Anki. I'm going to give the, this temple one more shot. And I've got big news for anyone watching this. The developer, Enki, wants to update the game with a major balance patch. Which is amazing. Uh, I'll talk more on that in a bit. I just have to get my thoughts together. Still per pretty early. The first thing I did when I woke up was go to the toilet, drink some water, and then start up Tales of Enki. Because even though it's, it has a very problematic combat system, it, it's still pretty fun. I want to see this playthrough through. Should be the playthrough to walk through. There's a big difference. Anyway, I feel that I have to say this. The developer personally commented on my eighth part of the series, addressing the issues of the combat system. And they wanted to hear my opinions on it. Which is fantastic. It's proof that they really want to make it as, as good as it can possibly get. You don't see that much. I mean, most would just release the game, maybe give it to some popular YouTuber, and just stop updating it. Well, um, you're neither of those things. I'm not the popular YouTuber and uh, he's not the average early access developer. Point out some of the things they want to change. Ancient Brahm. Oh boy. Resist nature. They, of course, want to change the amount of coupons you get per enemy. So the stronger enemies give an appropriate amount of coupons. They want to reduce the cost of potions since they're so vital to your progression. Increase player initiative. I've also said my piece by commenting on his comment. If you want to check it out? But I think those improvements are a good start. I see a lot of work has been done. Because when you equip level 5 armor, there are sprite chains. Blue stone has, now has a black armor. Burger now has this. He also has a helmet now. That's cool. The small little details like those make me feel as if I went through a journey. Oh 
I also reduce the miss slash dodge chance. And make armor count more. Count matter more. Update the enemy AI so they don't use the same debuff on the same target multiple times. Oh no, the frog now has a smoke shield. Whatever shall we do? having second thoughts when I reached right port because the game was getting really tiring not making any progress losing all the time barely being able to affect the outcome of the combat but when Enki I'll I'll call the developer Enki from now on. That's the first thing I I think when thinking about them. That's the f oh god damn it. That's the first thing that comes to mind when thinking about him. I'm sorry it's what time is it? It's it's 7 30 in the morning. What was I saying? Huh. What was I saying? I'm perplexed. I'm a little bit annoyed with myself. The quality of my commentary is even lower than usual. That's not a good sign. Oh boy. There better be... Dark Grants, level 5 axe in there. Wait, push. Bring me a tower. Who's that? Oh god. Gotta run. Can't flee. Oh no, why? Just get out of the morph like that. Not fair. Is that that frog just went ballistic? Also, one more thing to note. If I remember correctly, at the start of the game, they were making comments about the more you use a certain school of magic, the stronger you'll get with it. Which doesn't really happen because there aren't any levels. Would be cool. I've also made a suggestion that, as there are potions for, max for raising maximum HP and stamina, you raise your stats as well. So you get more initiative, more agility, more move, more strength, more magic per potion. So that everyone can be on the same level. And also add the feeling of progression.
Yeah. The reflexes of a cat. I should give you that bizarre one. Just for the lols. All the other ones get uh, some form of nature resistance when they equip their best armor. Rushida didn't get any. I think I get fences against gore or ice magic. Excuse me, Mr. Ghost, thank you very much. Assumption is correct. This season, the end of the game, there are a lot more Simmons on top. I didn't go through them, but I've only unlocked half of them. I'd say I'm 70% in. So you come to claim my horn? Yes! I'm, with, I'm going to take it from you. Excellent. Prove to me you're worthy of my artifact. Good. Uh. Hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 that's not fair. You can't keep doing that. Christo oh. Good. Good, good, good. You can't do that. You can't have the final boss both. Turn my guys into frogs and restore its speed. But with that logic, at some point you can turn everyone into frogs and then restore it his HP back to maximum. Be the second to find a boss. Frogs can't cast spells. Yeah, well, I can't do anything more. See, when the mummies get turned into frogs, they stop being frogs the next turn. But when I turn into a frog, it lasts for five millennia. Does it restore though? Oh, come on, Drusilla, stop being a frog. Yes, I have to grab some anti morph vials or potions because this is ridiculous. This has been a frog from the start of the combat. Yolton just shrugged off the burn, I assume. Guess I'm not on fire now. And now he resisted it. Drusilla's been a frog for seven rounds. Come on. Oh, thank you. It's time to slow him down. Yes! Second hardest hitter is frog now. Great. I 
restore and is not slowed down anymore and I miss well, this is going great this went swimmingly I mean I guess I didn't come prepared but but still Oh boy, Stream. both restoration and polymorphing. <sighs> Alright, so we got an idea of what the final boss is like. Oh god, I'm going to buy some stuff and then get back. Kill him. <laughs> 